And if we have two sea lions on stage together, which we sometimes do, it can get a bit competitive. When Merlin shows this off, the others are rubbish at it, and it can annoy them. <laughs> Watch the middle of the pool. Merlin, are you focused now? Are you concentrating? This shows you the flexibility in the body. Go! Here he comes, head over, tail, looping through the air. A lovely backward somersault there. But I think you can do it better than that. Let's do an action replay. Now at that front flipper stand, it took us just a few days to teach him to do that. Standing on the front flippers. It took a couple of years of practice every day, waiting in the corner <laughs> to train the somersault. And we trained this by just circling that target above the water. Any sea lion can do this though, they've got a really flexible spine, they can change direction in the blink of an eye, but can you do it even faster? Can you jump even higher this time? Go! Here he comes again! Whoa, another good one, a very tight turn there. Head over tail, beautiful Merlin, well done. Okay, now uh, we give them toys to play with too. As I said, it's all about keeping them occupied. We have to be careful what toys we give them, because like a young child, Anything that fits in the mouth can be a choking hazard. So if you give them a toy that fits in that gap, open wide, yeah, it can be dangerous for them. Uh, but we've got some hoops that we gave him to play with when he was a young pup. And we just threw these in the water. And it kept him occupied for a couple of days, just throwing